Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and we are going to continue our Let's Play as Bohemia. Uh, last time, we became the Emperor, and Austria called us into a war with Venice. Uh, we had been preparing to perhaps attack Denmark. Uh, the alliance structure remains with them, uh, so... That could still be an interesting method of attack. We shall see. Uh, Poland has uh, completely annexed the Teutonic Order, uh, which, yeah, oh well. Uh, we are not going to help Austria any further with the war, but they do only have 37%. However, the Ottomans have also attacked Venice, so hopefully they peace out soon. In the meantime, we're going to continue to regain some manpower, and maybe have a chance of uh, fighting Denmark later in this episode. Uh, if not, if I decide not to, we have other methods of, of attack. Uh, would it be a, a good idea? Uh, maybe. If we got to war with Friesland, that would be at least someone I could release. We have Gelray, Oldenburg, and Mecklenburg. I think I already have a claim on you. I do not. Okay. Oh, that is Mecklenburg. <laughs> I knew that. I could get a claim on Verdun, but they're in the Trade League. That's what's so wonderful about South Luxembourg. They're not. Uh, we are making 0.84 ducats, actually 0.73 now, as I keep moving my screen around. Um, so I have not raised war taxes at the moment. I must have a gold province somewhere. I do. Okay. In Cheb. Here. Okay. Well, we can... Dev that up to 10. We've already taken the tech recently. I think I need to get one more just for... to make it safe. And um, we get Expand Bohemia. That raises Praha and has some development cost reductions. I don't think Cheb's in the same area as Praha, but you never know. Did it work? No. That's fine. Austria, I would really love it if you got out of your war. Because I have other places to be. I have another mission that I've achieved. I have high income. Construction cost goes down. I'd love that for sure because I need to build some workshops. Yeah, I, I was right. So yeah, 0 0.34, 0 0.22. Those are big time buildings to be building right now. We need at least five for build buildings as the mission. And we'll just kind of wait it out up here. Let Austria do its thing. Are we still the emperor if, if we died today? Yes. Barely. Let's go ahead and improve with Trier. And later mains. Um, so we cannot get the innovativeness with this. So it, I'm going to wait and for, I think, two more years. I'm going to wait till it it matters here. We're going to just kind of develop ourselves down a little bit. And that will get us some more gold, which right now we're at 3.57. And I would love to get a couple more cannons in my army. Have two with each force. Even with the uh, reduction guy, it's going up. Well, that happens. That's from the gold income. All right, so Milan has more unlawful territory, or is it the same unlawful territory? It's the same one. 
they still won't give it up. Where is the... There it is. Improve relations. Um, we can develop some more. So let's do... We could develop some of uh, military power as well. But I'm kind of thinking I might roll some more generals. Let's roll a gen... One... Ge oh, that's a terrible general. Um... So we can get the Cardinal, and Hungry is angry, but that doesn't matter. We would gain Corruption. Or we can get a level 2, I think, Diplomatic person for 50% cost reduction. Yeah, it's Diplomatic. Which would cost me about one, I think. I think that Diplo rep, though, is important for this. Getting that fourth one. So, I'm not sure I would actually hire him. I think I'd rather have the Cardinal. Oh, Austria got onto Venice. The Navy let them through. All right, so we have 11 months before we take that tech. So that's probably the last development we do with it. Although it's still able to be done. 300 some odd. That's crazy. Okay, so that war is done. Venice cedes just Dalmatia. Uh, and they give a core to Milan, and they release Bosnia as a sovereign state. They'll pay 34 ducats. We get 17 of that. That's good. And uh, we have 14 favors with Austria. Because uh, so, this is a production efficiency. Or we gain just straight up 50 admin power, which is just straight up a, another one of that because I don't want that. I think 10, I've I've heard 10 is what you want to have with your development in a gold province. So I will have 10 eventually. So dear Denmark. Go ahead and get mains here. This is too large for that territory. Interesting. Well let's move our armies around. And we can develop some military, too. Not that I really need it, although manpower would be nice. Um, we will recall with mains. And we will um, apparently develop even more economically. For the Catholic face, Bavaria's opinion of me changes. That's nice. Do you like that? Okay, so Denmark. Austria will still come in. Which is surprising. Uh, England will not because of their debt only. No. Even without debt, they would not come in. I think this would be enough. To beat at least... I hope. Uh, rivals, because they're a rival. 25 allies yeah Austria is really 
a big part of this. So if Austria joins in, this should be enough. Let's check the stuff here. Six, 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 six. We're seven. So that's good there. Yeah. So we're going to go in here. We're going to break Brandenburg's alliance structure. We might... We probably won't take anything from Brandenburg, but we will break their alliances, and that will be nice. And then we'll take land from Denmark. If I can get Sweden, fantastic. I don't think I will be able to, so I'll just have to take Norway. Uh, we should probably slow down for this war. They only have one fort. Oh, really? All right, so I'm going to move my two cannons there, and we're going to... Yeah. Keep my armies together for sure. And I can blast this open. I have plenty of power. So I will. Let's see what the costs are here. I don't think I can... Oh, I can look at that. So Sweden's actually too big now anyway. So Norway, which is the one I actually wanted, will be the one anyway. And then I want you to release Holstein. That's a 95 peace deal. And somehow I get 63 aggressive expansion with nations and don't have a don't have a coalition even with the one that has 63 aggressive expansion in this one peace deal because that makes total sense. All right, well, we can split up. The siege of Berlin is over. <laughs> Really? All right, well, we want to end your alliances. Just period, basically. Definitely want to get those guys out. Uh, war reps and money. Are you in my trade league? You are in my trade node. So I will finish the carpet siege of Brandenburg. We, oh my goodness, do we outnumber them crazy amounts. And once we have finished the carpet sieging of Brandenburg, then they will agree to our generous peace offers. And uh, it's the 2nd of October. I think we can still develop one more province. One more bit here. And we can't get to 10. Good. Probably should have bought down inflation, to be honest. You know, all of these armies are there. Maybe we should take our forces over to Rebel. We can't get there. Who's not letting us through? Livonian Order and Lithuania are not letting us through. Well, that's fine, then. So you have the one siege, you go here, and we'll give our cannons up up here. Go ahead and move you there. We'll put the cannons on up. And Brandenburg will still not accept our peace deal. Very, very generous peace offer. They're not going to accept it here. The difference we're talking is a hundred ducats. I think we we worry about that hundred ducats. Now in all likelihood we're not going to be able to get um, Alright, January 1, right on time. 
we have that going. So I think because we have gotten the Emperor ship, I was going to go offensive next, but because we have gotten the Emperor ship, I think it's important to take Diplomatic now. Um, we have more Diplomats, we have more um, Relations. I, I, just, I think that's a good idea. Plus, if we can get up to Province War Score cost, that might actually make Sweden transferable. So I think that's what we need to do. We're going to get down here. Um, because I think that's what's actually keeping us from lose, from getting Brandenburg to peace out. If we can wipe out their army very quickly. Or at least beat it. My general died in battle. Oh, well, put the other general on them. Not sure where they're going. Papal controller is the Pope. They're going up here. It's very interesting. Where are they going? Oh, they're going all the way to Denmark's capital. Five reasons to wait. Denmark got their army here. The, oh, nice. Good job, Austria. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and have all four cannons with the guy with a siege pip. That makes the most sense. We'll go ahead and get the next marketplace going. Although he has a siege pip too. Alright, so we have scared them away down here, which is fine. It's very good, actually. Oh, hey, they rented troops. It's just you now, right? You and your friends. Oh, no, nope, Brandenburg is still in the war. For some off the wall reason. Um, let's go ahead and go here, and then I can add um, add my one siege pip to their their fort here. Yeah, that would actually matter. All right, so Brandenburg will get out now. I don't think there's anything else we want to do to them. However, yeah, I, I, hopefully I can still get military access through... I cannot get military access through Poland without Brandenburg. They're not going to give it to me. They might give it to Denmark. They did give it to Denmark. Where is the... Okay, so these are both grasslands. Gonna hang up back here. I can build two more of these. I will build that fifth one at ten ducats. I'm going to keep this 22 stack over here just because at some point Denmark is going to come around. And I'm going to actually take this up here, I think. Okay, so they do have 50 troops somewhere now. So that's meaningful. 
at least. Um, do I have... Yeah, I have plenty of military power. We're not going to spend any anytime soon. I should focus now on Diplo, though. Uh, so let's roll until we get a good general. Um, we are just not getting any shock at all, but we do have a two siege. That's not terrible. I'll get, there's a three shock. Yeah, we can keep those five. Let's go ahead and move you back here. Take the two siege, put you on the fort. Oh, nice. I can refill garrison now. I don't think that matters much. I can ask for contribution, too. And I can get one more, but I'm not going to do that. There's no need to do that, so... Um, I can hit that. 19... Oh, nice. All of that uh, developing with military or with admin has uh, paid off. Okay. All right, there is the siege over. Let's everyone go over here. Goodbye to the conductiary troops. Lost an advisor. It was our diplomatic advisor. So, if I want the Diplo reputation back, then I need to pay a level 2. And the 2.27 ducats that requires. Which is no problem. But I could pay a trade efficiency guy that same amount. And let's see, we might be able to get a similar advisor here. I think those are all administrative. That is a level 3 improve relations. Level 3 at 25% discount would be what? I don't have any level 3s available. Don't have any level 3s available <laughs> anywhere. Um... I think that I do. I think I can't afford that. So, um, I think we're still going to do a diplomatic reputation guy. I think that is valuable to us. We've lost our guy down here. Let's go ahead, and this is going to be a primary. A Primarily a battle stack at the moment. Oh, hey, Norway came all the way around. Now, I would presume that we are a long ways away from this. We are 200 reasons exactly. But length of war will go. Relative strength of the alliance will go up. Uh, demands exceed war score will probably stay at 100, but might go down. The current peace offers will stay where it is. Like that should all change. Just might be in for a while. Uh, we'll lose the 10 prestige. We need that diplomatic power. See if we can't catch Norway's troops. Gonna sneak in? Yes. No, we did not catch them. Why didn't we catch them? It said we would catch them. Catch them this time. There they go. Sweden has one troop way down here. 
That one troop is enough to cause havoc. We have heretics that have besieged Rome. Fratticelli heretics own Rome. That is great. Um, we can't get there now. Lithuania will not let us through. Well, then I guess we uh, go hunting for Swedes. We have now built buildings. Tax income of 10. Nice. And uh, so now we need to build a treasury. That's 2,000 ducats. We are about to acquire subjects. That's the goal of this war. And to be honest, it's more important than Holstein. Military access from Ragusa, sure. Oh, now there's two. Austria is down here not being nice. Alright, Lithuania is letting us through again. Austria, the point of this was that you were going to play a part. That that was why I declared the war. You were going to play a part. And you're not doing anything. You're you're hanging out down there. After all the help I gave you. You're gonna hang out down there. Okay, we've won a siege. I'm not going to carpet siege Sweden if I can help it. I'm gonna go ahead and merge these two and actually give them the the two siege guy cannot just walk there I really don't want to do that to Sweden, but it's looking more and more like I'm going to have to. Let's go ahead and just try and take those two forts. I'm trusting that Austria is going to basically defend my home, since they're not doing anything else. They have moved north, though. That's not nothing. Alright. Let's go ahead and give this stuff to my vassals, the forts, to my vassal, just because I don't want to pay for it. I'll keep the Stockholm fort. This is a fort, right? Fully maintained fort in Kalmar. Twenty-two ducats. We will be able to get up to the full force limit of the Emperor by the time this is over. Now, Denmark has come all the way around. Austria and Cologne or Palatinate are down here, so hopefully they can do something with that, because I don't have the patience to come all the way around to do that. We can develop an idea. I think we do that. We're going to try and go through this one at least until Province War Score costs before we take any kind of technology, but probably the whole group before we take any technology at all. Uh, we will... Uh, we're fine at Silesia. Um, I wish I could, like... I wish there was one that said, said to do electors. To just keep it on electors. The same way we have allies and uh, outraged and subjects and all of that. Go down to Lund. Alright, so the one on allies is idle for now. So I'm going to build a spy network on Denmark just to get this here. We can lose five legitimacy, I think, very 
easily without any worry at all, so we will. I'm going to go a little bit over and try and get this war over with. All right, so they are fighting off Sweden down here. That is good news. And Denmark is harassing Austria. Denmark is making gains. No, you are not. Don't even think that you're making gains. There is an ongoing battle, which we did win, right? No, we lost. Danish military strength, that's hilarious. Okay, that'll reset eventually. We'll go ahead and barrage the walls of this particular one here in Lund. Now, I don't think we can get to Sjelland. Well, that's the problem. Someone took it back. Let's go ahead and make a couple of, of uh, infantry here. Okay. Someone took the war goal back. You guys let that happen? Okay, Trier is done. We'll get mains. I'm in a little bit of a situation where I don't have, you know, I have Brandenburg and Saxony who will not vote for me pretty much no matter what. But the good news, the good side of it, is that I have, I am an elector, so I have one vote at least. All right, so that Lund was a big thing here. That puts us only 70 reasons away, but 70 is still a large number. And there are a couple of forts I can't get to, one in Gotland and one in Sjelland. So I think the question is... whether or not... I fight over all of that. They are four away from this. And only Denmark would join the coalition. I think we can do that. There's an ongoing battle. Which we just won. We just lost that. Alright, so they'll do this. I think we can do this. Denmark seeds. Holstein, they transfer um, their overlordship over Bohemia. Yeah, Norway becomes a vassal. Yeah, this I think is just fine. Give me however much money you're willing to give me. 22 ducats. I think that's going to be just fine because they're, well, they're a long ways away from that. We could get a little bit more, I guess we waited. Yeah, they're moving off of Holstein, so I think we're gonna get... No, because the shorter truce is a better chance of sweeping in for Sweden later if we can get the diplomatic ideas done. So I think we're gonna just take this. We're gonna call, our, call it good. And we're gonna bring everybody home. And uh, that's really, really good. And we have acquired subjects. And um, I don't want actually want this land. So if I return it, it's 10 prestige. But that's fine. And that is Holstein, a imperial prince... And that is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. How do I get you home? I don't think I do, so that's a problem. Um, I cannot get him home. I don't have any sailors. Yeah, that's a that's a big problem. That is that is a problem I did not anticipate. 
But uh, we will worry about that in the next war, or in the next uh, episode. I have been Taco Bowler. If you liked what you saw, please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, I will see you uh, next time.